Hey friends, how you doing? Sandro here from socialwoodworks.com. Today's video is actually my submission for an Instructables contest. It's a two by four contest. And uh, today I'll be showing you how I made my submission for the uh, contest. Uh, so stay tuned, we'll get into the video. All right, so here's the uh, SketchUp um, diagram that I drew for um, my submission. Um, it's just a set of quad nesting tables. Uh, one is bigger than the other. The other one nests nicely um, underneath it and um, It should be a pretty fun build So first I took the 2x4 and I basically milled it down to get all the dimensional pieces that I needed and here I'm resawing some 2x4s that I'm going to use for the top panels of the table I'm going to laminate them together and uh, create uh, panels for the uh, tabletop. After I resaw those pieces, I run them through my thickness planer just to get them to an even consistency so I can uh, laminate them together. Then I start working on the frame of the uh, tables and here on the bottom back piece I use pocket holes. These are the only pocket holes I use and these will be facing down so they won't be seen at all. They'll be on the floor. And that's the bottom of the base here and I use 16 gauge inch and a half inch uh, nails to hold it all together along with some wood glue. here they're starting to take shape. I angled my blade on my table saw to 16 degrees and I made these angle cuts for the front angle pieces of the uh, side table. Then I took it over to my bandsaw here and I cut out this little triangle notch on that same angled piece and that's going to basically fit onto the bottom bracket of the uh, side table. Then I grabbed a sharp chisel here and I'm just cleaning up the edges and um, just cleaning it up just to assure a, a nice tight fit. A little more wood glue. Hold it in place and I add another five uh, via inch and a half nails to each piece to give it a nice strong hold. Now that the frames are all built, I get to work on the tabletops. So I take those uh, pieces that I resawed and planed, and I am basically just laminating them as you would any sort of panel or uh, cutting board. Um, just glue on one side and clamp them together. Make sure that they're nice and straight, even clamp pressure. Take a wet, a wet rag and I wipe off any glue squeeze out uh, to eliminate uh, you know, extra sanding afterwards. Add a few more clamps on the outside. And there you go, there's there's the tabletop. Okay, once those are dry, take my belt sander to the, oh, sorry. Just gonna use this little sanding jig that I made. All right, so now I take my belt sander to the, to the uh, panel here and I just knock down all those rough edges and get all that glue squeeze out and everything um, using a, I think 80 grit sandpaper on my uh, belt sander here. I think I have 120 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander. Then I finally take it down to 220 grit to get it nice and smooth. Next I did the same thing on the base. I just took my orbital sander, uh, went over all the flat surfaces of the base, made sure everything was nice and smooth from 120 grit down to 220 grit. Then I took a sanding sponge and wrapped a 320 grit sandpaper around it and just knocked down all those rough edges and all the corners, smooth them out a little bit. All right, now it's time to assemble the tables and add the uh, top panels to them. Added just a little bit of glue to them and here I'm using some 18 gauge inch and a quarter inch brads, or inch and a quarter brads, sorry. Attach each uh, leg with a few nails each, and there you have it. That's pretty much the table. That's uh, the bigger one. Here's a smaller one. Nest right in between there. 
I took some uh, just some wood filler and uh, filling up all the uh, the nail holes, sanded that down, and here you see I'm just spraying it with a uh, a white primer. Also, I didn't show it on camera, but I did finish these off with a nice interior high gloss white paint as well. All right, guys, so here they are, my entry for Instructables 2x4 challenge. Um, I made a set of these um, quad nesting tables. They're nesting side tables. Um, I actually saw these online on a website, some high-end furniture website. Um, obviously, they didn't use uh, dimensional lumber like I did. They used some hardwood, but I uh, essentially just got the idea for the design from that website and uh, decided to uh, use that design as my 2x4 challenge uh, project. So I ended up just painting them white, and I think it looks actually pretty cool white. It's going to gonna stand up pretty nice in our living room but uh, here they are and um, as you can see um, they just basically slide right into each other there uh, for convenience sake and when you need to you pull this one out yeah I don't know it was a really fun project uh, I like taking dimensional lumber and sort of milling it down into uh, you know, different uh, different size pieces to uh, accommodate whatever you're building. And uh, this was a really fun project. I got to uh, use my table saw to resaw some of the two by fours and laminate these uh, top panels for the tables. Uh, I had to mill down the two by fours also into these one by two pieces. Uh, I got to use my bandsaw for these little uh, angle cuts here. And um, yeah, so it was really fun. It wasn't just a typical Know, glue and screw some two by fours together. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you like this video, uh, I appreciate you guys hitting that thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, please uh, find me on Instructables website um, on the two by four contest. You can view all the other contestants there. There's some really cool ideas and uh, projects that other people have done as well. And if you like this one, I'd appreciate you clicking that vote button on the bottom of my uh, submission um, and uh, we'll see you on the next Instructable. Thanks. Have a good day.